Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can edit your very own Fortnite highlights video just like this. So, as you guys saw, the effects aren't really too, like, noticeable and not very, like, pop. Like, they don't, like, pop out to you that much because highlights, obviously, are focused more on the kills. But editing is obviously still there. And, uh, yeah, so today I'm going to show you how you can edit simple but still very clean. So, uh, first what you're going to do is get a song. And, uh, I'm going to just go into my file explorer. Uh, and then I'm going to, uh, so what, if I still have it? Yes, I do. Okay, so, uh, this is a song by Rarin. He's a very talented artist. He's kind of still underground, but, uh, he, he's super talented. Make sure to go check him out. And, uh, yeah, so now that we have the song, place a marker on the beat drop, so... I think it's... Where is it? Alright, so as you can see, it is right here. So I'm just gonna add a marker on the beat drop. And uh, let's just get rid of this clip for a while. And uh, Let's find where the numbers first pop up. Or where he first gets the siphon. So right here, as you can see... Uh, like uh, the character first gets the siphon, like she turns a bit blue. So you're gonna also want to add a marker on there, and uh, yeah, cut it so it would fit the song like that. So uh, yeah, now let me just play it back. So actually, let me just turn on the volume a bit because you guys a lot of times complain about my volume. So right, I think that should be good. Yeah, it should be good. And uh, now I'll show you my velocity, or the best velocity for your highlights. So, go uh, 20 frames back. This is the velocity that I always show, so you guys should know it by now. So, uh, 20 frames back is right here. It was on 46, and 46 minus 20 is 26. Yeah, you already know that shit. And then go in between, which should be plus 10 frames. So, go from 26 to 36. Obviously, the numbers are different for everyone, but it's just like as an example. Change the first speed to 50. Change the second speed to 200. And here, go one or two frames in front. It's it's really like your choice. I'm just gonna go one frame in front and I'll see how it looks after. So right there. And then just drag it all the way back. And it should look good. And uh obviously make sure the last part is 50 or else the clip or like the editing will look very bad so yeah just make sure it's it like it's on 50 percent <coughs> and uh, make sure the kill part of the clip is for is like one frame or 60 frames so if it says 46 you're gonna make sure you want to find the next 46 like that there is so that would be right here Obviously, it's different, like I said before, for everyone. Let's say you have a 23, then you just want to find the next 23 there is. So, uh, yeah, let me just play the clip back. So, it looks solid. And, uh, yeah, now it's time to add, uh, the effects. So, go into the effects library right here. Add an adjustment clip. Then here, I'm going to show you how you can do a flicker impact. Because these are actually very clean. I really fuck with it. So, uh, yeah. Let me just save the project. And, uh, go into Fusion tab, obviously. Alright, so once you're in the Fusion tab, uh, make sure to go drag the Flicker Impact from my edit pack. It's free. It's the free edit pack. Let me just link in the description. And, uh, from here, what you're gonna wanna do is obviously link everything in the adjustment clip. So, like that. It's a very nice Y shake. It, uh, it, as you can see, it like goes up and down with the RGB. So, uh, as you can see there, it is very nice. Plus, you can see like the little flicker. It's not a hard flicker either. And uh, maybe you don't like the the X shake, which would be the first node. So maybe just remove it. And for the Y shake right here, but. Uh, Put the Z distance to 0.93, keyframe it, and then go to the end and keyframe it back to 1. 
So, uh, yeah, it won't let me play, obviously, because it will lag very hard. Yeah, it's gonna lag a lot, uh, but you guys should trust me by now. I make a million tutorials and they all end up great, so, uh, yeah. So that's basically the first effect done, and as you can see, it's pretty fucking nice. And then, alright, so now we're gonna find the second beat drop, which is actually right here, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, add a marker on it. And now that we have our second clip, uh, now we're gonna wanna find, like, the part where the siphon starts, or, like, where, like, the numbers first pop up. So, numbers actually first pop up right here, as you can see, 162. And if you can't, you're kind of blind, but add a marker on it. Shorten it, as always. And then put it like so the markers line up and all right so now just copy the same velocity as before unlink the clips as always at a speed point about 20 frames back so 21 minus 20 would be one and uh, at a speed point go 10 frames in front so 1 plus 10 equals 11 change the first speed to 50 second speed 200 and make this a frame in front drag this out like that and uh just drag this so the last speed point lines up with the marker and as always make sure the last one is at 50. so uh like i said before make sure the kill part is 60 frames so it says 21 and now you're gonna want to find the next 21 that there is so that would be right here and uh yeah and actually for some clips the audio is very short because the clip itself is kind of short so if the audio doesn't go 60 frames just make sure the clip or the clip is as short as the audio and uh yeah as you can see it's already lined up and uh let me uh go into the fusion tab i'll obviously add an adjustment clip over top of the kill and then go into the fusion tab so you can add a kill effect And now I'm gonna add another one of my impacts, and uh, I'm just gonna add the perfect uh, blur impact glow shake. It, ha it literally has it comes with everything, really. Uh, as you can see, it looks super nice. Uh, it comes with a uh, with the X shake, a lens blur, uh, S underscore glow, and S underscore flicker. Obviously, with these. You will need plugins, the PCC plugins and the Sapphire plugins. A lot of people actually complain about uh, how my presets aren't working for them, and that is because you don't have the plugins installed. And uh, yeah, just make sure to have the plugins installed, uh, so you guys just don't come and complain, because the the presets do work if you do have the plugins installed. So uh, if you want, I could link them in the description. So uh, yeah, I'll link them in the description. And this clip actually is not 60 frames, like I said before. So make sure the S underscore shake, go to the end and keyframe it at, at zero and then keyframe the Z distance at one. And then for the lens blur OBS, that one's already keyframed. Uh, S underscore glow, go to the end and keyframe it at zero. And the S underscore flicker, go to the end and keyframe it at zero as always. So maybe you think the glow is a bit too bright because for every uh, every kill or every clip the glow is different so just do it like 1.5 and uh, yeah as you can see very nice very nice obviously it will lag because there are like two plugs implemented into that clip and uh, yeah all right guys so now I'll be showing you like something that a lot of youtubers don't actually include in their tutorials and that is how to add good and clean sound effects so first what you're gonna want to do is make sure your clip is actually kind of silent but not too silent so like not like it's not too loud but not like I'd, I'd say minus 9 is usually good or minus 8.6 then obviously for the second clip make it the same like minus 9 and uh, as you can see like the bars aren't too high and now go into your file explorer and I'm sure a lot of you probably have like a sound effects folder and uh, yeah I don't really have too many sound effects in these folder in this folder but uh, I'm just grab the spaz uh, 200 no shield this is a very good one I really like it 
and uh, yeah make sure it just lines up perfectly with the song so as you can see it, it, it's basically perfect with the song like it, it rises right when the beat drop hits and yeah just uh, copy and paste this uh, onto like the next clip but if the if you feel like the sound effects is way too long just shorten it so it's as short as the clip and then just fade it out like that's really what everyone does and uh, yeah do the same thing for the second clip just uh, get like copy and paste it control C uh, and then control V and uh, now just as, you, as as I said before just make sure you line it up and uh, that should look pretty good in my opinion like uh, let me just put an overlay right now of what it looks like and uh, yeah as you guys saw very nice very clean uh, make sure you guys drop a like on this video check out my editing pack and uh, yeah subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.